Hey Taurus, so I'm here to do the empowerment readings. I've not done these for a while, but I am going to be doing them at the beginning of each month from now on. These will not be extended readings. Um, I'll be keeping the extenders to the love and generals, which I'll be doing four times a month. Um, the link to my Patreon is in the description box below, or if you're watching me on Instagram, it's in my bio. Um, there on the Patreon, you'll receive all of the extenders to every reading I do, uh, bonus readings, new moons, full moons, um, pick a deck readings, that type of thing. Um, I'm also going to be using it to go live in a few months when the community has built up a little bit. So keep an eye out for that. So I am using my Empowerment Oracle deck that I drew... I don't know, we were talking about five, six years ago now. Well, that's when I published it. I can't remember when I drew it. Um, so, and I intuitively read these. So I'm going to jump straight in for Taurus Empowerment. So we have got the Haunted card um, as the main energy. The Haunted card, feeling like something from the past is still haunting you. You know, something that you are having to look back over so we could be talking about shadow work especially as we're talking about empowerment um and it's a perfect time we are under the parsi's new moon which puts us all in us feelers um emotions that type of thing so it's a good time to do the shadow work so empowerment wise there's still areas in in the past there's nothing there's no greenery it's dead but for some reason there's something that keeps making you look turn back I'm not saying go back, I'm just saying it makes you just look back over it or it kind of stunts your growth. So what's crossing that energy is the moon. <laughs> so with the lunar 13, I called it the lunar 13. 13 is the divine feminine number. We do have 13 cycles in a year with the moon. But the moon is about releasing any fears that are holding you back, releasing whatever it is. You know, it could be a person. It does look like the shadows. I think I drew them intending shadows. Um... It's about removing things. But the moon also kind of illuminates the things that the sun doesn't, especially on an emotional level. So I think I feel like you're doing shadow work and, you know, working on your own personal growth as you move forward, doing a lot of releasing, surrendering. But again, there's still a few little things that need to be sorted out from the past. Why is it coming around now? We do have the Twin Flame card. If this is not a relationship, we could be talking about someone who you thought was some kind of twin flame, soulmate, that type of energy. Um, maybe you are in a twin, twin flame relationship and it kind of haunts you. You've got to be careful. I don't like talking about twin flame relationships because sometimes it can give leeway towards putting up with narcissism and forming trauma bonds because we tell ourselves it's a it's the it's it's this big massive spiritual relationship when really it's probably another test on your spiritual awakening to be honest um my beliefs on twin flames has kind of changed quite a lot recently just do you just do you so eleven eleven manifestation numbers that is the universe though when you start to eleven eleven maybe you started to elevens when you see 1111, everyone says make a wish. It's more like the universe is saying 1111, right, be careful with your thoughts because you are manifesting right now. So it's to take stock, sit down and like kind of think, right, be present in the moment. What am I thinking of right now? Because we have got a lot of like drama and chaos in the past and we are trying to ascend to the peaceful element of life. You know, so it is the karmic life patterns and karmic relationships there could be a twin flame relationship take it as it resonates if it doesn't feel right and if there's any form of abuse mental abuse emotional abuse anything like that please give it a wide berth and do not mark it down as a spiritual awakening um as a twin flame part of your spiritual awakening because a true twin flame soulmate could never hurt you in that way they could never be vindictive in that way because in doing that they're hurting themselves So I feel like you've recognised this cycle. We have got the recognition card in the recent past. You have recognised certain cycles and I feel like you've done a lot of work as in, you know, the self-love, self-worth, feeling on top of the world, independence. But again, there's still triggers that are coming up that are kind of taking you backwards at the moment. 
So at present, we've got the root chakra, it did come out in reverse. So the sense of feeling secure and stable has kind of got a rocky vibration again because the triggers are coming up in order for you to deal with them. So that's totally fine. It's okay to feel a little off, you know, whilst you're doing the work. And then near future, we've got the ruins. So the ruins card, I drew this card as in there's certain things that we cannot go back and rebuild. There's certain things that we can't put back together, you know, bricks and mortar. Some things aren't meant to be put back together. Some things are meant to teach us the lessons in order to catalyst us forward in our journey. And yet it can be exhausting. So take time to rest. But go for a more natural start. Some of my Torians could be looking at diets, um, you know, taking care of your physical health, especially getting enough sleep. Because I feel like it is exhausting when you're going through this energy. It, it is exhausting. It's tiring. But it's okay to be tired. It's absolutely fine. She's resting before she grabs a bulldozer, whaps that so she's got a plain you know, playing field to grow on. Create your own forest. Create your own dreams. So it's not bad at all. Your power. Oh, the phoenix. And healing hands. So the healing hands is about rest and rejuvenation. It's about spirit telling you that you are receiving some kind of healing. The things that are coming up that are uncomfortable at the moment, they're coming up for a reason. So then you can go through the healing. You may be drawn towards going for Reiki, whatever you feel is healing. I've just got sunbeds in my head. Maybe I need to go on sunbed. Um, maybe you, you need to treat yourself to something like that. Make sure you're doing something for you because your power is the phoenix. Yeah, the phoenix burns out, but it also rises. It makes a comeback from the ashes, you know, and your power is you constantly make that comeback. So I love it. That's a love center. Outside influence, choice in direction. So what's influencing your reading is the fact that your path is about to open. And I feel like there's certain things that have got to be released, surrendered, left in the past, the things that are haunting you in order for you to make the right decisions in which path you're going to, to go down. And it will also kind of open up more paths as you move forward. So whatever it is you're releasing... It could be passing love. It could be passing career. This is an empowerment reading, so I'll take it as it resonates. Hopes or fears. Well, that would be a fear, the dark night of the soul. So I feel like you are on a bit of a dip and it's almost like this, oh shit, am I going back into that? Am I going back into a depressed state? If you're questioning it, then you're not because you're in your head. You kind of know that something's off with your energy, with how you're feeling. So it's time to grab that lantern and light your way down those paths. You know, there's definitely a, like an independent independent streak in this reading about getting yourself back up after the burnout. Um, and your outcome is the solar plexus. So there's definitely going to be decisions. But again, escaping the monkey mind and making the, the, right, the decisions for life here. This is our alarm center. This is where all our energy goes in the solar plexus. So let me get some clarification for Taurus. So the haunted card for Taurus. The chariot. Yeah, you're definitely moving forward away from situations, people, um, whatever it is that's kind of holding you back and you keep looking over your shoulder towards it. And I feel like you are kind of looking back a lot of the time to see how far you've come. And if you're not doing that, then maybe do that. Maybe think to periods in life where you felt like this, the dark night of the soul. It is a spiritual, you know, a period of desolation, but it's necessary in your spiritual awakening. Um maybe take a look back at those bad times and see how far you've come with the moon being the crossing energy passes energy there we've got seven of cups so we do have options i feel like you've got options that you're not seeing right now it's kind of clouded with what's going on so the twin flame energy here we've got the knight of pentacles so very i love the knight of pentacles i'm sure everyone knows that by now he is one of my favorite cards in the tarot because he never fails he never fails because he thinks things through really logically and he checks where that path's going to lead. And if it ain't going to lead him where he wants to go, he will come back and rethink it and make a new plan. I love that. And then we've got the Four of Swords. There's definitely like four concepts that need to be cleared in the mind. 
So in the recent past, we've got some form of recognition. We've got the Four of Pentacles. So you have been doing the work to kind of release something, to release someone, to release certain elements within your thoughts. But then we've got this Two of Pentacles. I do feel this like stepping back, stepping out, stepping back, stepping out energy. So the root chakra at present, we have got the three of cups and the emperor, which is Taurus energy. So yeah, you may be feeling a little bit ungrounded at the moment, but it's happening for a reason. So Taurus can celebrate your achievements. So the ruins in the near future, which I do like, we've got the nine of swords in reverse. So all them thought concepts kind of dissipating into the universe to be recycled, like all this mess here. I'm going for a brand new start. Um, so there is definitely brand new starts coming in. So your power is the Phoenix and the Healing Hands, the Five of Pentacles in reverse. To unblock yourself to in any area, whether it's love, abundance, you know, happiness, money, it's you've got the power to take yourself back in from the cold now to find the warmth in your own life. The outside influence being choices in direction. Now you've got the full card. You know, which way do you want to go? It's about having, taking them risks having a leap of faith in yourself that you can move forward from all of this there's definitely an independent energy i just said that at 11 11 as well so the dark night of the soul as your fear we've got the moon in reverse so fear is unwarranted um i feel like that is going to shift i feel like this new moon could bring certain things up but then it's to expand your path we've got two of wands you know feeling grounded and safe in order to kind of like venture out realizing the world is a massive place and the solar plexus as your outcome we've got the hair of taurus energy again you know being given the keys to a whole new life there could be a new home there could be a new car that could be what you're going for but i feel it's more of an empowerment being given the keys to a new aspect of life there could be a commitment a new relationship coming in especially if with the twin flame card there take it as it resonates but i feel like again there could be a new employer there's definitely something new and the four of cups in reverse so wherever you've been feeling like you're lacking or missing out on something, that is totally dissolving. And you're going and getting it yourself. So I like it. Talk about Independence Street, but I like Independence. So I'll see you next time. Bye.